Here are four very important questions based on logarithmic equations. We have seen them in past test papers and I hope their solution will help you in your exam review. Now, let us look at these solutions one by one. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll discuss a very important exam question. I have kept it in my series for exam review 2023. We have seen this test question in past papers. The question here is log to the base 5 or 125 to the power of x equals to log to the base 3 9 to the power of x square minus log to the base 2 of 32. So we have different base to work with and slightly complicated question to look at. Perfect. Well you can always pause and then answer the question. In case you want to learn from me, send an email on the address given. Perfect. So let's begin with the solution of this question now. We are given that log to the base 5 of 125 to the power of x is equal to log to the base 3 of 9 to the power of x square minus log to the base 2 of 32. Well, all the numbers and their base, they kind of match, right, as an exponent, right? So we could rewrite this as log to the base 5 of 125 is 5 cube, right? So we get log to the base 5 of 5 to the power of 3x. Similarly, the next one is log to the base 3 of 9 is 3 square, right? And that times x squared, perfect, minus log to the base 2 of 32. 32 is 2 to the power of 5, right? Correct. So now we could rewrite this as 3x log to the base 5 of 5. Here we can write 2x squared log to the base 3 of 3 minus, this is 5, log to the base 2 of 2, right? So I've added this step here. Sometimes it is important to understand why did we get 3x here, right? And 2 times x squared there was minus 5. Perfect. Makes sense now, correct? Bring all the terms to the right hand side. So we get 2x squared minus 3x minus 5. So we have a quadratic equation easy to answer now, correct? So I hope the difficult part of the question has been done. So you should be in a good position to answer this now. So as a practice, I'd like you to pause the video now and then answer. Let's factor this. We're looking for a product and some product being minus 10 and some being minus 3. So we could rewrite this as 0 equals to 2x squared splitting the center term as minus 5x plus 2x minus 5. So that gives us 0 is equal to uh, x is common here. So we get 2x minus 5 and here 1 is common. We can write 2x minus 5. Well, 2x minus 5 is common. So we have x plus 1 as the other factor. So that gives you two answers. One is x is 5 by 2. The other one is x equals to minus 1. And in this case, what are the restrictions? Let's look into that part now. So when you have to the power of x to the power of x squared and the number itself, we can very clearly see that there are no restrictions, right? So both the answers should really work, correct? So at this stage, I will also like you to substitute these values and check the solution, right? So for now, I'm writing down the answers as both, which is minus 1 and 5 by 2, okay? 
as you can see here, the x terms were in exponents, right? And uh, therefore, I think both should work. So that is the answer for this question. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of a logarithmic equation, which is of the form log to the base 2 of x plus 2 equals to 3 minus log to the base 2 of x. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Now let's look into the solution of this equation, which is log to the base 2 of x plus 2 equals to 3 minus log to the base 2 of x. Let's bring the log terms together on the left hand side. So we get log to the base 2 of x plus 2 plus log to the base 2 of x equals to 3. Since we have the same base, we can combine the two log terms using the properties of logarithms. So it will be product of these two, x plus 2 times x, which is equal to 3. And next, we will write this in exponential form. That means x plus 2 times x equals to 2 over 3, which is 8. Now, I think it is simple. Just expand, simplify. We get x squared plus 2x. Bringing a to the left side, we get a quadratic equation. And this quadratic equation can be solved easily. You can now pause the video, answer, and then check with my solution. Right. So, we have x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. Let's factor this. 4 times 2 is 8. So, we can write this as x minus 4 times x plus 2. Right? That means x could be equal to 4 or x equals to minus 2. Now, clearly, x equals to floor is the answer. x cannot be equal to minus 2 because we have a restriction, right? So, you should actually look into the restrictions when you solve logarithmic equations. The restrictions here are that x should be greater than, this says minus 2 and this is 0. So, it should be greater than 0. So, that is not valid. It is called an extraneous rule. So, the only solution is x equals to 4, correct? Is that clear? That is how we are going to solve this particular equation. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. Here is a logarithmic equation which can have extraneous roots. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We are having a very good question based on logarithmic equations in this particular video. It is for you to prepare for exams. The question here is log to the base 9 of x minus 5 plus log to the base 9 of x plus 3 is equal to 1. Solve the equation and find the exact value of x. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Now let's look into the solution of the equation. Well, my preference is before even trying to solve the equation, we should actually write down the restrictions. Since logarithmic equations will involve extraneous rules, right? 
So, restrictions are very important to understand. Log of x minus 5 means x should be greater than 5 and log of x plus 3 means log should be greater than minus 3. That means basically we have restriction that x should be greater than 5, correct? This is a very, very critical step. Many times when you solve the equation, get the answer, you in a rush write down all the answers which you get. But remember, some could be extraneous, right? So look for extraneous roots. Now let's begin with the solution of this question. So we have log to the base 9 of x minus 5 plus log to the base 9 of x plus 3 equals to 1. Applying the properties of logarithms, we could simplify the expression and write it as log to the base 9 of x minus 5 times x plus 3 equals to 1. And now we can write it in exponential form, correct? So that gives us a quadratic equation, right? We have x minus 5 times x plus 3 equals to 9 to the power of 1, which is 9. Let's expand and simplify. So we get x squared plus 3x minus 5x minus 15 equals to 9. Bringing all the terms together, adding the 2 with x, we get 3x minus 5x gives us minus 2x. And then we have minus 15 minus 9 equals to 0. Now I think it is very simple. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then check your solution. Right? So we have here x squared plus minus 2x. Minus 15 and minus 9 gives us minus 24 equals to 0. Factor this product of minus 24, sum of minus 2, 6 times 4, right? So we get x minus 6, the bigger number being negative, x plus 4 equals to 0. Now that gives us two solutions, one x is equal to 6 or when x is equal to minus 4. Now clearly, as we see, this is not valid, correct? And therefore, we have one solution. And the solution is x equal to 6. Make sense? So that is how we should be solving the given equation. Simple, but very important to look at the restrictions so that you get the exact answer and do not include the extraneous root. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have a test question for you based on logarithmic equation. We need to solve the equation and find exact value of x. The equation is one fourth of log to the base 2 of x plus 2 times log to the base 2 of 5 minus 2 times log to the base 2 of 10 equals to minus 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Well, in case you want to learn from me, feel free to send an email on the address given. Now, let us take the solution of this particular question. Rewriting, we get 1 fourth of log to the base 2 of x plus 2 times log to the base 2 of 5 minus 2 times log to the base 2 of 10 equals to minus 1. Now, what should you do? First, let us write this in proper form. So we have log to the base 2 of x to the power of 1 fourth. You get the idea, right? So apply the rules, rewrite the equation in proper form, 
and plus log to the base 2 of 5 square minus log to the base 2 of 10 square equals to minus 1, right? So, let me make this correction equals to minus 1. Perfect. Now, addition with the same base of logarithms means product, right? And subtraction means quotient. So, let's apply the logarithmic rules and rewrite as a simplified expression log to the base 2 of x to the power of 1 by 4 times 5 square divided by 100 square equals to minus 1. 5 square units 25, 100 square to 10 square is 100. So, we can further simplify this by cancelling 25 and 100. So, what do we get? We get log to the base 2 of x to the power of 1 by 4 times 1 over 4 equals to minus 1. Let us rewrite the equation on the right hand side. We have log to the base 2 of x to the power of 1 4 over 4 equals to minus 1. next step should be writing it in exponential form. So, you get x to the power of 1 4 over 4 equals to 2 to the power of minus 1 which is 1 over 2, right? Cross multiply x to the power of 1 over 4 is 4 times half which is 2 and that gives us the answer, right? x is equal to 2 to the power of 4, that is 16. So, x equals to 16 is our answer, exact value for this equation. Perfect. So, I hope all the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.